All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders, and today I'm just going to have a quick uh, crypto tip on how to find charts. When you have large cap cryptos, it's very easy to find the charts. You can just go on most of the main websites and you're going to find a chart on them. When you have a new crypto or a micro cap and you're looking for charts, it's very hard to find them because you're not going to have the links on the main sites like CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. However, um, because they're on the blockchain, you can you can find ways to chart them using software um, that you might not know the links of. So I'm going to go over just some of the websites that you can use to find charts. Okay, so most people are are very familiar with this one, TradingView. TradingView is probably one of the most common charting softwares other than Bloomberg. This one is free, um, and you can sign up for premium features, but TradingView is used for stocks, uh, commodities, bonds, and now crypto. So you can actually find a limited amount of charts here. For example, let's see if you can find Telcoin. So you can find Telcoin versus Tether. And because, so it looks like what it is doing, it's pulling coins off of the centralized exchanges. So if your coin is not listed on a centralized exchange yet, uh, you might not be able to find that coin. So I uh, will try to find Jero Wallet. Oh, Jero Wallet is there. However, Jero Wallet is the Uniswap pair against Ethereum. So if you're trying, if you're trying to calculate against the US dollar, you're not going to see very much because it's against Ether. Now you can look at the chart and it's very easy to know what's going on here, which is it's getting wrecked. However, you can't find the Ether one. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go and because it's an Ethereum based coin, there are multiple websites that you can go on to find these charts for the real ones against the US dollar. So what I'm going to do is just show you the list of coins or the list of websites. Just one second. Okay, so there's... I think five to six main websites that I use for charts, but most of them can be solved between two, which is just Dex Tools and uh, PooCoin, which is a funny name. But the reason why they call it PooCoin is because most of these coins that you're looking for are not that great. So uh, that's why they call it that. All right, so here's the list. Okay, so number one, we already talked about it, Trading View. Then you have Crypto Watch, Crypto, Crypto Watch, and then you got the .ch at the end. Dex Tools, PooCoin for Binance Smart Chain Coin. You have APY.Vision, Chartex Pro, MoonTools.io, MoonTools.io, and then Astro Tools. So we're going to start at the first one. Oh, we already went over trading view, so we're going to start at the second one called Crypto Watch. Crypto Watch, this is apparently what all of the professional uh, traders use. Mike Novogratz actually mentioned that his guys use uh, Crypto Watch for personal use. The reason why is you can actually look at multiple coins at the same time. So you can look at, you know, 8 to 12 coins at the same time and just watch or monitor their, their movement. So, for example, I like Polygon, I like Solana, VeChain, and you can probably make custom lists as well, and you can make alerts. There's a lot of things going on here. There's a chat. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this. So you can customize it, and you can look at... So let's, for example, let's take a look at... So back to charts. This is actually cool too, uh, the top 50 crypto assets, and you can look at <clears throat> who did the best for the last six months. So DREP did 
thousand percent return telecoin 25 thousand percent return so let's go look at the chart for drip okay so you're going to have a volume indicator you can actually trade on here which is crazy i wouldn't trade right on the charts but you can trade on there so here's what the chart looks like you can zoom in very easily you can change the timing on it to one minute if you wanted and then you can see some volume here on the side so that is crypto watch okay now let's go on to the next one so the next one we have is dex tools so here's the list again just so you can take a look so maybe you can screenshot it take a picture with your phone you can save all of these in your favorites just in case you're going to need them later on so we're going to look at dex tools right now so what i like about dex tools is it does show you the hot coins these are all meme coins so basically the hottest coins are meme coins and the reason why you would go here for these coins is because they don't exist on other charts so then they have new tools coming in bakery swap burger swap and other exchanges that they're going to be adding uh, so one of the coins i'm interested in is Jero wallet the cardano super wallet right now the coin is just an erc20 coin so what i do i go to coingecko.com and I, I type in the name of the coin that i want to look at then when you get here into the top left hand corner you can see what kind of explorer it's on so if it's an ethereum explorer it's going to show etherscan or ethplorer and then it's going to show the ethereum logo next to the the contract so then i'm going to copy this contract number now it's copied and pasted so i can control c control v or i can right click and paste now i have the coin now if i don't have that availability i can actually click on the ether scan for the wallet and i can see the contract here and i can copy the contract from ether scan i hope that makes sense so now you've copied the address on ether scan and what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to paste it in some of these sites so you can paste that contract into probably these bottom these bottom five so we're going to go back to dex tools right and we're going to go to dex tools and we're going to search the pair so now i'm going to paste the contract inside of the tools and you can see it's the eth version so jero wallet is 27 cents let's see if that's accurate yes it's 27 cents so jero wallet eth what that means is on uniswap when you trade jero wallet even if you're trading for us dollars you have to go through eth so you might have three trades you might have jero wallet to eth to usdt or jero wallet to you know another coin and that's what it's going to see so the dex score 99 and then you're going to go down and now you have the chart so this is the chart that you can use you can draw lines on it if you want you know you can draw like a straight line at the top here uh, you can make it thick right you can draw a straight line at the bottom right then you got your lines and then you can draw whatever you want right you can see the range of how You know how much percentage that range is so for example price and date range so i could start here calculate this box looks like that's almost a 11 12 percent range between there those two boxes so anyways that's dex tools okay so dex tools is the ethereum version and they also have a binance version i believe coming out so when you go back to dex tools you can look at their roadmap so they're going to do nft markets then they're going to do centralized tools then they're going to do more dex integration so they're 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 moving along right so dex tools okay next one we want to cover is poo coin so poo coin is for binance coins a common coin on binance i believe is shiba inu let's 
Let's see. Oh no, Shiba Inu is an Ethereum coin. Wow. Okay, well let's do... Hmm, let's do Bakery Swap. So Bakery Swap is a Binance ex decentralized exchange. So once again, you type in the coin, you go to the contract, and you see now it has the BSC logo. So you're going to click Copy. You're going to go to PooCoin. You're going to type in the token. There you go, Bakery Token. Now here it shows you, this is crazy, so it's a billion dollar coin, then it shows you who the uh, the holders are, so you can click here, you can click on all the transactions, you can see the contract, you can see who's holding this coin. So as you can see, this is the chart, what it looks like. There's a lot of volatility here. So this chart, you have to expand it. For some reason it's not expanding properly, but... Uh, that is the chart. So let me go to the one day chart, see if it looks a little bit better. No, it doesn't. So that's what happens when you have uh, bad coins, you get bad charts. But anyways, now let's go back to Dex tools and see if they have the Binance integration yet. So Dex tools is working on a Binance integration, but yeah. There you go. So you could just stay on Dex Tools. You could paste the the uh, coin in there. Let's see if the chart's gonna pop up though. There you go. So it's four point three dollars. Got the liquidity, the volume, and the chart is there. So Dex Tools is killing um, Bitcoin. Okay. So next we're gonna go to APY dot Vision. Really, I'm just going to use Dex Tools every time, but say Dex Tools has been down before because everyone was trading. So then you're going to go to APY.Vision. So this is an all-in-one liquidity pool analytics yield farming reward tracking tool. So this is more for yield farming. And so you can look at liquidity pools. So we're actually going to skip this one because this one doesn't really qualify. However, they can show you the top pools. Okay, so we're going to skip APY. So now the next one is called Moon Tools, I believe. Oh, Chardex. But we'll go with Moon Tools first. So what I did was I pasted the bakery swap code into Moon Tools, and we're going to see what they offer. As you can see, like this is a very infant level, you know, this is a very infant level tool right now. There's so many kinks in it. So in some places you get these ugly charts, other places you're going to get a decent chart. So this looks like it is the chart for totem token and you can go down and it looks like an API of trading view. Now, okay. Multi swap news. So moon tools, they're trying to have news. I guess this is just news of different coins. Uh, Bridge Mutual, Duck Dow Dime, whatever. So that's Moon Tools. Moon Tools, I don't really use it that often. Now, Astro Tools, this one is actually funded by Genesis Block Ventures, which is a big crypto hedge fund, but they do buy, they do sponsor a lot of coins. So it's hard to figure out which ones are their best or which ones are their favorite. Astro Tools is supposed to be uh, just as good or better than Dex Tools eventually. So let's look at a coin. Let's see if they have Telcoin.
Again, you search Telcoin, you find the contract, you copy the contract, you go to Astro Tools, you paste the contract into the program, and you see if it pops up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's how it works right now. No data. Okay. Oh, so here's the pairs. Trending pairs. Brutal, right? These these guys need to Okay, these are trending trending pairs. Not very many. So I do know Rari. Okay, so they got Rari $9. They got the tiny little chart. And they got the buys and sells. So that is for Rari, but why can't they do Telcoin? Telcoin's way bigger than Rari. Okay, so maybe you can't paste the contract. So Telcoin is there, it just didn't work the way that I wanted it work so you had to type telcoin in there and then you'd find the chart so they have the chart they have the liquidity they have the volume they have the pooled usdc market cap 2 billion circulating supply so telcoin is there it's up 20 percent today which is pretty good pasting the contract does not work very interesting okay so we'll continue chartx.pro so to find one coin you might have to go to three or four of these right i would always start with dex tools then foo coin uh, and then you know just continue from there so chartx.pro this one is a nice a nice charting platform but once again it's just trading view now some of these platforms have like the hottest coins, so you can kind of find what's the hottest coins and try to trade the volume. Ethereum max down 40%. So sushi token. Nice chart. Now let's see if I wanted to do Telcoin. Yeah. There it is, but you have no idea. So that's ChartX. So this is like, a, you know, if things aren't working, you go to ChartX. So then the last one, Moon Tools, Astro Tools, we've done them all. So basically that's it. So your number, your, your, your heavyweight champion right now is Dex Tools. I'm going to go to Dex Tools for almost everything if it's not on uh, the main sites. And I'm just going to go from there. And then if Dex Tools, if it's Binance, I'm going to try Binance on Dex Tools. Then I'm going to try it on PooCoin. So that is the list of your, you know, top eight places to get charts. So you have TradingView as the number one. Crypto Watch is the spot where you can watch multiple charts at the same time. Dex Tools is a good one for all of the DeFi microcap coins. PooCoin is the best one for Binance. And then the rest of them are trash. Simple as that. The rest of them are trash. Uh, Astro Tools is supposed to be good. They have their own coin. Some of these even have their own coin, which doesn't make any sense, but you can speculate on the coins. So what do you do? You go where the volume is. When you're trading, you go where the volume is and you want to get the price. So this is just another trick, right? So for example, if the price did not come up, so Telcoin, right? It says it's 37.90, but for a small cap like Polydoge, ne I have no idea what Polydoge is, right? But for a small cap like Polydoge, what's going to happen is they're going to list the price. 
It's not a good example. They're going to list the price here, and they're going to show it's on Matic. I don't want to do a Matic coin. So linear, for example, you're going to get this. You're going to go on to there, right? You're going to go Uniswap, Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, one inch. So let's go to one inch exchange. What you do, one inch exchange is a DeFi aggregator if you want to actually get the price that you're going to trade at because you might actually want to sell right now. So you're going to go there and then you're going to type it in. Linear token. So linear token to USD is 5.036 cents. And there you go. So if I had 10,000, see that? It went up. So it was 5.03, now it's 5.04. If I had 100,000, right, 5.044. If I was trying to sell... $500,000 of coins, I have crazy slippage, 39% slippage. So there you go. You can see that depending on how much you want to sell is the price 5.03. Look at that, 1,000, 5.1. 1,000, so it changes. So that's what you want to do. And you can see they're routing it through Uniswap and Smoothie Finance to get there. So that's all I wanted to show you was just a little way to get charts on CoinGecko. So that is how to get new charts for coins that just came out that you don't have the charts on the main platform. So you're going to have multiple places to go and get your charts. That way you can say, oh, I don't have the chart. I don't have the chart. Now you know where they are. And if you have any questions, let me know. If this was helpful, please like, uh, like and share. And once again, gskwealthbuilders.com slash gifts. Thank you very much.